Hello guys and welcome back to the mood. This is a new day. This is a new life. This is a new me and the market is <coughs> not doing that great since yesterday. What the hell happened? So guys, I remember you if you are new to the mood that the chart you see, the Bitcoin chart you see here is the chart I draw during all these sessions of videos that we do on a daily basis and each and every yellow line you can see here was one of my predictions. We got quite good results during all that time period, the red ones are the, the wrong ones and here it's starting to be a little bit more difficult, we got a few wrong ones here and there and <laughs> that one was right that one less so I guess I'm gonna put in red so nobody's perfect guy nobody's perfect we cannot do all the time 100% perfect still you can subscribe the channel if you don't want to miss it please do so and leave tons of like as usual to help the algorithm rank the channel over YouTube and the notification bell so let's go straight into the action guys Yes, so nobody is perfect. That's a fact, guys. <laughs> oh my god, my god, my god, my god. So, what I see here is not really bothering me that much. I see on bit. By the way, we are going to do Wazirix after because that's what people voted here on the Telegram group that I really invite you to join so you can vote also on the daily coin and uh, yeah nice no so back to our Bitcoin chart we've been doing good stuff but recently it's a little bit harder little bit trickier I see we broke that resistance line that we had here this one for now I'm going to remove it because it's more disturbing than anything I think it made me do that mistake here that's why I got influenced by my own uh, prediction, which is not something you want to do. What I see here is that we are stri struggling to break that resistance, that MACD resistance here. The bears are trying to break it. We got a little bit more downside here on the, on the RSI because we didn't touch that resistance line. The Shendemo is quite low, the VIX is extending, the MACD is bending. So, I wonder if we have any kind of obvious resistance line around these levels apart from this one. I don't think we are going that low. The lowest at that point would be 45,300. I honestly don't think we are going there. We must have some kind of resistance uh, upper there. So let me try to see if we can find it. We have this one. I don't really think it helps my narrative here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. We have this one. This one is much better. Much, much better. All right. So I think at that point we need to go down to touch that resistance line here and here. So there is more downside for us. And uh, I think I think this line is going to make resistance around 46,780. So let me make a better drawing. This line is going to be our resistance. And I think right here we are going to bounce to go we have an invisible resistance but to go probably higher as 48 400 the bounce for me is here at 46 781 okay guys if you want to make sure that i'm not telling bullshit and that tomorrow you can also check that with us see how this prediction happened make sure you subscribe the channel please do so 
we really need to increase our presence over YouTube. You know why, and you know why, and you know why. <laughs> Third reason, you have to know why, <laughs> because I know why. So you have to know why. God, what the hell am I saying today? <laughs> I'm out of my mind these days. So, um, all right, was the Eric's? Was the Eric's? For many reasons, I got pissed off many things during the recent days. Nothing to do with cryptos. Nothing to do with cryptos. Was the Eric's? Um, we have a resistance line here. Okay. Waziric seems to show signs of uh, strength around these levels. We have a resistance line here. We broke it. We have something here. We are nearly touching and we are extremely low. So there is a slight little more downside also to go. Unfortunately, I'm not sure there is any kind of obvious resistance that would hold us before. No, that's not. The only resistance I see down there is this one. Um, we are really low on the Shandemo. The VIX printing green candles, green bars, how you want to call them. The only thing that bothers me is this RSI that didn't completely fully reset down there. It's very mixed, guys. It could totally bounce here today. But I want to keep you safe. So I'm going to say we are going lower. There is a slight resistance here. We are going lower. I'm going to try to make it still precise to 1.44. 1.43. I don't think we'll touch that resistance at 1.38. But clearly there is a bounce after that. So our bounce will be probably taking us back in these levels. As there is nothing crazy for Bitcoin, there is nothing crazy here. Let me check now our S&P. And that prediction is still absolutely accurate. And uh, S&P is going to have a hard time not hard time but we are going to correct a little bit after that i think with a little bit more upside today tomorrow might be a down day for the s p uh what else can we do quickly doge this one is half wrong uh yesterday let's have a quick look at bnb ethereum all right, not much under the sky. Some people here talk to me about uh, what's this crypto H bar? What the heck is that? Let's quickly look on Google. I'm curious. Hidira, is that the one H bar? Apparently it's trending, getting popular for some reason. We are checking together first the fundamentals. With a page that takes time to load. Mm. Okay. Do they have a poor host? A web page shouldn't take so much time to load, but obviously they have something a bit more complicated here. Okay, no red flags. All 
Okay, why not? Why not? Something legit. H bar. Interesting. Okay, okay, guys. Maybe tomorrow. If you want it tomorrow, please leave it in the comments. We can do also an analysis of H bar. Could be a new a new discovery for us. So what else did I want to say? Okay, let's go into the personal things. Um, I'm very happy with this channel that we are building up a community and everything. It's pretty nice. And sometime I happen to have people here that I'm a little bit closer because it's nice you know guys i'm not doing any money or anything from this channel i'm just doing it a little bit for the human stuff so when i see people that wants to get a little bit closer if you don't leave too far some friendship can start or stuff like that and it's fine i'm totally fine with it it's actually quite cool because uh it's always nice to meet new people I'm still super open-minded and spe specifically people who are into cryptos. So it's something pretty good and pretty nice for me. It's new experience. So I really appreciate it. Sometimes I can be, if we get into that, sometimes I can be a little bit over checking you because, because well it's cryptos guys you don't know how many emails i have from shady project or stuff uh, this world also is sometimes full of traps full of it's a jungle guys we know that so sometime i have a good feeling chatting with you guys and it's very nice but when we get really personal, if we get personal, again, it's not about romance or anything. I don't want that. I'm not looking for that. Okay, I'm just looking for, I'm, I mean, I'm not looking for, but if friendship comes, it's a good thing. But uh, don't be offended if I screen you a little bit on some stuff because there are too many fake profiles and fake people including in the comment section of YouTube, lots of them, lots and lots of them. And most of the time, the first thing they do is trying to get personal with you to get you trusting them. So later on, they really can take a lot of time doing that. And it can take some time, two months, three months to get your confidence. And that's how they do before they start really getting into the, the nasty stuff. So first of all, I would never get into the nasty stuff because I'm really too cautious. And second of all, it, it's bad because it's harming the real people. And sometimes, yeah, you can get you can get offended when I start screening you a little bit in the first place. So I apologize for that. Um, it's a measure of safety. I, I just told everybody like I'm a millionaire and stuff, you know. And um, by experience, this shit happens, including in real life, without even talking about cryptos. That's if one day I told you I, I would make a video about eventual side effects of being wealthy. And that's one of the side effects is the what I call the bad relation, the bad friends and uh, the shitty stuff that you can get when you're showing off a little bit too much. And what you want, if one day you become wealthy, and I really wish you that, and that's why I'm doing this, these videos, what I wish you is to, and what I, I, I'm telling you, is to stay always under the radar because you want your relation with people to stay genuine and normal. The more they become hyped because the people know, oh, you are wealthy. I'm very hyped to know you. The more you get that in the first day of a f new friendship relation, the more it's going to end bad. It's clear. It happened to me tons and millions of times when people are super hyped in the first place because they are happy to know someone 
that made a few things a uh, little bit specifically that made him wealthy uh, this admiration on the long terms never holds in time it's not because you misbehave or anything it's just because there is an expectation to be like you to become like you to imitate you to try to do a lot of things like you but this doesn't work it's not the way to do it if you want to become wealthier you, you might learn and get the right influence but um, if your target is to be like in the end you're going to be disappointed with yourself and with the person you admired and it ends up in tears and in like rejection and it's hurt, it's painful even for me and for the person it's painful and it creates a lot of tension and disappointment and that's really harsh on both sides just to clear that that's one side effect of wealth that is really a pain in the ass guys that's gonna be it for today <laughs> That was unexpected, but I wanted to clear that because I had a case recently because I asked for a few check-ins and uh, it was uh, like, uh, what, why and stuff, but if one day we get closer for, for any reason as friends, again, I'm not looking for anything else, um, be prepared that this kind of shit can happen. Life and uh, we paid for the, the misbehaving of other people. Uh, that's how it is. We stay positive, we stay happy, we stay smiley. I wish you an excellent day. And I see you tomorrow. Hopefully you will subscribe. See you tomorrow.